Hello, this is the Trade Site Stock and Futures Market Preview and Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Monday, April 29th, 2013. This presentation is now brought to you in HD on YouTube. You can extend your screen resolution in YouTube to 720p. You view it full screen for best detail. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal 11. Here's a look at the S&P 500 index. This is in 30 minute bars. You can see this nice sort of cup and handle that we've had form over this last two weeks. So this was Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. It's been exactly 10 days of trading data uh, that's created this cup and handle. And this is a, bu a bullish pattern if it breaks out in the next couple of days. So in other words, once you've got the cup, then you got the handle. The other thing that we got though was a 13 cell signal on our secret tool right here. That gives us this pink risk line which we ran up and hit and then rolled over. So it would be enough to already say that that 13 cell signal has turned into a downward move. Uh, but right now you've sort of got some competition between whether this is going to finish out the handle and break out or the seeker is going to stay in control. Now let's switch this to a daily chart and look at something even more important that we've been tracking for a while now. Here's a look at the uh, daily chart on the S&P and I'm going to draw our uh, trend line that we've been following uh, since back in November and we were watching this We mentioned this last week but what's interesting is last week at this time when I uh, did this presentation uh, we had closed under, broken under and closed under this trend line and then one day Friday we had kind of turned back up. We've talked in the past about how important it is to uh, break a line then retest the line when it's such a significant trend line over long periods here and then when you retest the line if you fail there that's your proof that that line has broken and as you can see we did not fail at the retest point we climbed Monday Tuesday back above the line and we've now held above it Wednesday Thursday and Friday what that means is this trend line is still in place on the market now there's one other interesting factor okay we are 12 bars up on the seeker tool right here on the daily chart so one more closing high essentially and we're going to have a 13 sell signal on the daily. Now keep in mind we've had a couple of those lately and they've broken rather quickly. Uh, but they are measuring exhaustion in the market, each and every one of them, so every time they occur we have to be aware of it. So we're still watching this trend line and I wrote an article this weekend that's posted to our blog about what the impact of the sequester is and the, on the volume in the market and the fact that the light volume may be contributing to some of these signals not really playing out the way they normally would and also the fact that the trend line got broken in such a way that usually would lead to a move and then a retest and instead we're just sort of back and forth. So we'll be keeping an eye on all this uh, as we move forward. Meanwhile the NASDAQ side, if I go to the NDX 100, this has been just awkward all year. Very flat action. This is the daily chart. Uh, but it is near highs. But again, look what, we've talked about this every week. Look at January. Then look at February. Look at March. So flat. You can't find a point on the, on the chart going back in history that's been so ridiculously flat for the uh, NASDAQ or the S&P for that matter. So there's, there's a lot of strangeness going on here in the market, waiting for something to break free one way or the other and get us moving. And we don't care as traders which way it goes. Either way, we'll take it. So let's take a look now at uh, the economic data that's coming out this week as we usually do and uh, see what to expect. So we've got uh, on Monday, personal income and spending with PEC prices and pending home sales. This is all U.S. data only. On Tuesday, we've got uh, the Employment Cost Index, the Case-Shiller 20 City Index. Now, the Chicago PMI and Consumer Confidence, those are both big numbers, so be aware of that, uh, both 15 and 30 minutes into the market. On Tuesday, we also start a two-day Fed meeting on Tuesday. So that tends to slow things down as that day progresses. Then we go into Wednesday here where we've got the MBA Mortgage Index, ADP Employment Change, ISM Index, Construction Spending, our Crude Oil Inventories, the Rate Announcement at 2.15, p.m. Eastern Time from the Fed. Now, I noticed another calendar that said 2 p.m., so we'll see which one's actually the case. Not expecting anything new out of the Fed in terms of what the rate might be, but we always look at their language going forward. Auto and truck sales in the afternoon. Thursday, challenger job cuts, initial claims, productivity preliminary for the uh, first quarter, along with unit labor costs, and here's a big one, trade balance. An hour before the market Thursday morning, and then Friday, another big one, the unemployment rate with the non-farm payroll data. And even after that, more data on Friday, the factory orders data and the ISM services to wrap up the week. So if we're going to focus on something this week, it's probably going to be obviously the Fed announcement on Wednesday, 
Uh, but you've got big data on Thursday and Friday as well. In terms of uh, things going on in the market, we're watching that trend line on the S&P. We're going to be watching volume. We, we are now out of earnings season. The core two weeks of earnings ended. Uh, we did have some better volume, but that's because of earnings. It's going to be interesting to see what happens to volume now that that's behind us. I'd like to see it hold up. Obviously, more volume is better for us from a technical trading perspective in the market. Uh, so that's it. That's what we'll be focusing on. And uh, we'll certainly be here in the Trade Site Lab to help you out if you have any questions and guide you through the market in real time during the week.